Good morning and welcome to United World Capital Daily Market Reviews. Today is the last day during this trading week and we could see quite good developments in mainly all the stock markets in the world. The Asian trading session has finished its, uh, this week in the, with a positive development and uh, mainly all the stock indicators have finished its um, session in the green zone, except for China, which has been losing 0.2% this morning. This has been more or less the technical correction after the strong development which we could see on the market yesterday. The Japanese market is traded uh, positively this morning, added 1%, and the Hong Kong has been adding 1.27%, uh, which um, obviously gives us the understanding what the banking sector is uh, feeling itself quite confident and uh, trading very positively after the good uh, third quarter results presented. The Asian trading session has been following a very strong uh, session in the United States where the Dow Jones and S&P has been adding uh, just a bit more than 1% and Nasdaq has been growing for 1.44%. It's necessary to state that this has been the strongest development in the American market for the last seven weeks. Mainly, this has been influenced by the good macroeconomic statistical data which has been uh, issued into the markets. The ISM index uh, has been uh, developing uh, in October positively and the number of 52.7 points has been declared, which is uh, uh, 0.2 uh, points above the analytics were predicting. Which, is the, uh, which has been even more surprising is the index of consumer confidence, which has made 72.4 points in October, and uh, which is the maximum level since 2008. The ADP numbers were also positive and it has been declared the 158,000 of the new workplaces in America. Even the analytics were predict predicting just 135,000. All this information has been giving support to the American markets and we could see it uh, in the final numbers at the end of the trading session. Also, the oil markets were uh, supported by the data coming on the oil stocks in the America, which has been decreasing this week for 2 million barrels. Even the analytics were predicting what the oil stocks are supposed to increase after the hurricane Sandy. Uh, after this data has been reported, we could see uh, some jump in the oil prices, but unfortunately after that, prices again started to correct. And this morning we uh, can see the WTI traded on a level of $87 per barrel and Brent is bargaining uh, around the level of $108 per barrel. We, could see, we couldn't see the strong development in the oil prices, pressure metals or the currencies uh, during this week because uh, all these financial instruments are more or less uh, moving um, on the side trend and we cannot see what uh, there, there is any growth or the bad uh, development on it. Today we are going to expect in the afternoon finally the uh, data on the unemployment figures in America which we investors have been waiting a uh, uh, whole week and uh, might be the data could be quite different and it could influence the moods of the investors but uh, it also can be very short term orientated. That's why let's see what's going to happen today in the markets and I wish you a very good trading day. Thank you.